This is a short demo of the pull request for learning items. Um, it doesn't have all the features that my previous screencast had, but uh, I tried to make the things that I implemented as solid as possible, and then we can slowly add the new features. Uh, currently, um, it's only implemented in the AC Brainstorm, so any other activity works exactly like it used to do. Um, but if we go to Brainstorm, um, I'm only going to show this in preview, but it works exactly the same if you are running a, an actual graph. Um, so this looks very much like the traditional brainstorm. Yeah, we can uh, add an idea here. Um, what you can notice is that you have this plus button, and so you can add... Um, I've cut it down to these four uh, learning item types for now. Uh, so. The idea is actually what we just added. So what you see here is not actually a part of the brainstorm activity if you look at the code, but it's being rendered by a learning item. But as you can see, it fits very well into the activity. Um, so we can also um, open a modal and do the same thing again. And we get exactly the same result. But of course, we can also add other things um, like uh, an image. Um, so I can uh, take a picture and I can uh, you see here that it knows that this image is zoomable whereas uh, it's not editable and these items are editable they're not zoomable right uh, so I can edit this thing um, I can zoom in on this image and uh, we even have these um, compound learning items so we can edit this, but we can also add an image. We can add mm, several images. Let's see. I can also drag and drop this. <laughs> Looks very nice. Um, Okay, so I'll add that, and you see that it looks quite nice. Um, we can, of course, vote up and down as we are used to. Um, we can delete. We can edit. So we can say, let me take this one away. There we go. Perfect. So um, now, as you can imagine, if we were more multiple students, um, we would um, be able to collaborate. Now, here is where the learning items are interesting because right now um, the example data is actually consisting of learning items. So if we look at the reactive data, uh, what we see here is that there's a bunch of items. They have an ID, which is random, but they point to a learning item, which um, is whatever item it is, um, then they have the metadata, so they have the score, they have who has voted up and down and so on, like you, you know it from before. Um, and uh, here you see actually the activity data, which is the incoming data, this is the example, um, which is just a reference to these uh, learning item IDs. And um, so the, the point about this is if I now create some um, multiple students, because we're in the individual mode, um, it's going to merge the same example data for them, but because the example data is only a reference to a learning item, we're actually going to be looking at the same learning item, but we're going to have different metadata. Um, so let's see if we can make sense of that. Um, I'm going to add another student. So this is going to reload, so this the stuff I added is going to go away. Um, well, actually, it's still there because I'm not reloading yet, but if I uh, go here, then we see here's some example data. So these are actually learning items in the example data. Um, we can add more. Now if I add more here, this guy's not going to see it because he's not in my group. Um, however, these guys, we have access to them. Again, so I can delete this and it doesn't disappear here because all I did was remove the reference from my reactive data. However, here's where it gets fun. If I start editing this, then you can see it. Well, actually, no, we can't because I'm editing the exact one I deleted, but okay, let's try again. 
Uber is here for good. So you can see that um, the the field here is updating live, right? And because they have the same reference, um, even though they're not sharing reactive data. Uh, so this is something to keep in mind in the future. It can be really useful. If we don't want this to be the case, then an operator could be copying the learning items and create actually separate learning items for each group. So we have both those two options. Um, of course, if I put these guys in the same group, then um, we would both be able to actually live see the reactive data and of course still see um, the editing. So um, that's it. And the final thing I wanted to show you um, was the fact that we also have a full history of the editing. Um, now, eventually we'll have um, a nice dashboard and different ways of exploring that. But for now, um, I just added a little option here in the config to show the history slider just so I could check this uh, functionality as well. Um, so right now if I turn this on, you'll see that I'm now able to zoom every item and actually the zoom just gives me the history. So let me try adding a new idea. And now I can uh, zoom in, but what I see here is that the slider is at the very beginning because in this case there's only a single revision um, because actually the way we create um, new uh, learning items with this specific component is that it doesn't keep track of all the things we do until we hit the add idea and then everything is added together. Um, however, now that it's part of uh, the reactive data because other people could be looking at this, um, all that editing is actually synchronous. So if I add something here and we go back now we can actually see that there's a bunch of revisions so everything so this was the first thing captured and then everything after that was captured um, just to give one more example um, we can use this idea with attachment which actually works differently because this thing um, begins to capture right away um, so we can for example try to add some files let's um, drag and drop some files here um, and then we'll uh, deleted one. Um, three files are good enough for me. All right. So now we can add this item, and we see it here, looking nice. Um, and if we go and uh, we can go and edit it as well, uh, or maybe two. So let's get rid of this one. There we go. And now we'd like to look at the history of um, this particular. Um, so if I go in here we'll actually see that the entire history is captured, including when I added um, when I added the files um, from the very beginning when I began typing. Um, there was three files, four, three, typing. Two files. Um, yeah, so that's it. For now, more things to come.